This time, to cheat, the ore we're using is pure red iron oxide bought off of the blessed internet. We'll show you smelt 5 because we didn't actually record 4, but since 4 and 5 happened at the same location and were relatively the same, except the 5 was successful, I think we may as well skip to the punchline and show you if we actually made iron. You're videoing this, right? You got it on camera. <laughs> Shoot, dang. <laughs> wow, is that whole thing, sweetheart? Holy crud. Oh man, heads up, oh. it's stuck on there. There it is. Oh. Woo! <laughs> we neglected to bring our anvil. Woohoo! The result, several pieces of iron bloom that I managed to consolidate later into this. This is a lump of partially iron, partially slag. These are lumps of iron, and then I want a lump of mostly slag. One way that you can tell the difference is by hitting them with a hammer. If you hit this one right here, it deforms, it holds together, it's fairly plastic, or at least holds a shape. This one holds its shape relatively well. This one, on the other hand, shows you what it's made out of. The interior is mostly glassy. Which is not what we want. So, there we go. I think I might send it to somebody with skills greater than mine to see it turned into something beautiful. How was the first iron smelted without any iron tools to work with? No hammers, no tongs, no metal parts for a bellows. How did that work? I think that sounds like a really cool project. Subscribe below if you want to see more stuff like this.